Jack, it's you. You're not coming home again tonight. But it's been days since I've seen you. Yes, Jack, I understand, but I hope you haven't forgotten you have a wife. When am I going to see you? Fine, then do as you please. Goodbye. Jack, are you here? Jack? Where are you, Jack? you on purpose to tell you that we wouldn't be seeing each other tonight. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. How in hell did you ever get it into your head to come here every of the night? You're never home anymore. So I thought... What's wrong, Jack? If I don't work late, I'll never catch up. I can't sit around every evening waiting for you to come home. It gets lonely. You know, I'm behind in my work. Yes. I've told you several times. Of course I know that. How could I help knowing? You know it, but you do nothing about it. You never stop reminding me of that fact. But I want to remind you of how much I love you, and how much I want you, and need you.
Was he mean to you? I waited up. Well, you shouldn't have. Beckham, that was foolish. Why aren't you in bed? Good children with any sense are asleep. I wanted to kiss you. Good night. Good night. Good night. gotten into him. I don't understand how anyone can treat you that way. You're so beautiful. He doesn't love me anymore. Oh, that's not possible. Something else must be wrong. If only you know what I'm going through. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. I don't know what to do. Make him jealous. be unfaithful to him. It always works. I don't know. Do you think so? really frightened me. I wondered who it could be. Is there something wrong? Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, no, I... I'm sorry, I... I didn't mean to intrude. Forgive me. Dorothy, you remember... you told me that if I came to your room, you might be able to help me. That's what you said, wasn't it? I really hate to see you suffer this way. It's rotten for you. When there's no need, you could be leading a rich and full sex life. Do you think so? I certainly do, and I mean it. Oh, Dorothy. You must trust me, that's all. I think I... Ah, yes, I know a place. Oh, Dorothy. I don't want to do anything I'm going to regret. No fear of that. Sex is such a delicate thing. I won't let you get hurt. Leave it to me. I feel so ashamed just talking to you about this. There's no need. We all go through these crises. It's only natural. Go get some rest now and dream sweet dreams. Thanks. Good night. You like her, Tony. She's very beautiful. Mm. Well, that's a relief. Malcolm didn't explain much. What am I supposed to do? Just make love to her. That shouldn't be too hard for you. <laughs> no. Now remember, don't ask any questions. Don't say anything. Got it? Mm hmm. You bet. I'll be needing the car again. Don't put it in the garage yet. Ah, right, sir. Everything okay, Dorothy? Everything's just fine.
Are you upset about something, Jack? No, my dear. What? Well, you're not very talkative today. That'll do, thank you. Has there been a change in your plans? No, I just came home to get a change of clothes. I have to get back to the museum right after lunch. What you find so urgent in that dusty place, I can't imagine. We still have quite a bit of work to be done on the inventory. It's going to take several more weeks. Beckham, stop slurping. Didn't anybody ever teach you any manners? I don't know why you insisted on adopting this disgusting brat. It has the manners of a pig. As you know, it's a very old custom in my family for the eldest son to adopt an orphan boy and raise him as his own, giving him a good education. The wilder the brat, as you call him, is, the worse and more unruly he is, the more deserving and in need of kindness and attention he is. Well, I think that's ridiculous. Do you? Yes. Your family must all have been the most incredible bunch of crackpots to think up such an idiotic bit of nonsense to turn into a tradition. Oh, I never heard anything like it in my entire life. I know you have a little innate respect for such things, Florence, but do try to be a bit more tolerant of other people's beliefs and ideas. After all, this world is made up of all sorts of Silly snobs who feel it's their right to be patronizing to others. No, oh, no. It's unfair and narrow minded. Let's stop. Are you planning to spend the entire day under there? Dorothy! Yes? Will you please see that this child finishes its lunch? I've lost my answer. Yes, of course. Since Jack's not around, you could spend some time with me and maybe keep me company for a while. I don't think so. I just came in to say good night. Would you kiss me good night? On the lips. On the lips? All right. How'd you learn to kiss like that? Easy. It's because I've seen them do it in the movies and on TV. Now, well, now you must try to go to sleep. Huh? I'm glad you're not my real mom. Why not? Because if you were my real mom, I'd have to act like a son. This way, I can think of you as a girlfriend. <laughs> Good night. Sweet dreams. Aren't you ready yet? It's time to go. Wait a minute, Dorothy. We have to talk. Listen, I don't want to go back to that place. It was a mistake. I only did it because I was mad at Jack. I was jealous, that's all. I thought he had a mistress, but he really does spend all his time at that stupid museum. I was all wrong. Were you? 
Yes, I was a victim of my own silly imagination. Don't be so sure. What do you mean? I didn't have the courage to tell you openly, but I guess I'd better just say it. Don't tell me there is a woman. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it. You're lying. I can prove it. How? You can't prove anything. Yes, I can. I don't want to, because I don't want to hurt you. It's too late for that. Go ahead, prove it. I'll take you to the museum in a couple of hours, all right? That's where they meet. You'll see. I don't believe it. Why are you so sad? You just worry about your homework. What is it? Why won't you tell me what's the matter? You're still too young to understand. That's what you think. I'm not too young to know what it's like to be lonely. No, I guess you're not. And I'm not too old. Now, get on with what you have to do. I see you're all ready. Where are you going all dressed up? I beg your pardon. Look, it's none of your business. How sweet. It looks like he's jealous. I think that Beckham's becoming a man. You're just going out to tease me. Exactly. Is there anything else you'd like to know? I don't like it. Oh, can you beat that? You're a real pest. Car's ready, ma'am. Malcolm? Yeah? Would you see that this wretched child is put to bed right away? Come on, kid. Time for bed. Now, do you want to go to bed on your own, or do I have to come and tuck you in? No, don't bother.
now, but there's a really cute boy staring at me. Le jeu sont fin. Eight wins. This is my lucky day. Sure is. Think he knows we've got a better cape? Not sure. Place your bets. They vote for Jay. lost except love oh. 
I never set foot in this part of town, even in broad daylight. Don't worry, we're almost there. You're perfectly safe. I feel in the least. People get murdered in this neighborhood. <laughs> Take it easy. Try to relax. You'll have a great time. Come in, ladies. You are expected. Go right on up. Thank you. Incredible. Looking for someone? Not necessarily. Good. Then you can stay with me. Why would I want to do that? The only way you're going to find out the answer to that question is to stay. Is this where you live? Not exactly. Uh. On second thought, maybe this is the only place I really do live.
Well, look. Oh, my God. Where did you get these photos? Where did you get these? Tell me who took these pictures. I absolutely have to know. Go on. I found them, that's all. You do those things with everyone. You're one of those... Women the kids talk about at school. Or prostitute. <laughs> Beckham! Please come back here! Beckham! Oh, Beckham! Listen to me, Beckham. You have to behave like a man now. I want you to help me. Do you understand? If I mean anything to you at all, and I have a feeling I do, you must tell me where you got hold of these photos. There's a lot of them. I've got them all. And I'll take them to school and show everyone if... What are you talking about? It's a lot of them. And I've got them all. And I said I'd take them to school and show everyone. If you don't... Tell me. You have to tell me. Where did you get these photos? All right, I'll tell you. But only if you promise you'll do all those things with me. Beckham, that's blackmail. You don't mean that. You're going to give me those photos, aren't you? And this will remain our secret. No. Yes, Beckham. Look, I promise you, when you're old enough, and if you still want to, I'll do it with you. But not the way it looks in these photos. They give the wrong impression. Sex should be great fun. I can't sleep with you until you're big enough to play grown-up games that both of us can enjoy with equal pleasure. All right? It's because he wants to demonstrate his feelings for her and should consider hers. Do you? You know I do. In a grown-up way, Beckham? I think you're confused because this isn't the way it's meant to be. Sweet and tender. That's how we'll be when you're old enough. Will you make that pact with me? All right. But you have to give me something. Something personal of yours. So that I know you'll keep your promise. All right. Here. Take this. It's a token that I won't forget. Here. Is that all of them? Yes, every one. At the negatives? Oh, they're still at the house. I've got a special top secret assignment for you. Go back to the house and burn all those negatives. Don't leave a trace. Understand? Don't worry. I'll take care of it. I'm really counting on you. I have to. Explain these. Oh, it's not what you think. 
Where did you find them, huh? Beckham found them. That little snoop. How did he get inside the house? Were you planning to blackmail me, huh? You and Malcolm? He took those pictures, didn't he? How could you do this to me? Oh, wait, I can explain. I know it's hard to understand. It sure is. And you are going to explain, all right. And if you don't, you're going to wish like hell you had. We were paid to do it. It wasn't our idea. Oh? Who paid you? Your husband. But I don't see how Jack knows. All my indiscretions were public knowledge. How does he know? And why? He's impotent. The poor fellow, he was so upset. He didn't have the courage to tell you. It hit him suddenly, out of the blue. The doctors couldn't explain it. Stress, perhaps overwork, that's why he hasn't come near you. God, he loves you so much. He didn't know how to tell you. He couldn't make love to you anymore. So he came up with this idea. Your lovers were just standing in for him. Those photos were just an illusion. A way for him to share in your pleasure. A way for him to, to imagine you in his arms while you were satisfied by others. Poor Jack, enjoying you secondhand through them. So when he enlisted my aid, of course I agreed. Who wouldn't? A few photographs didn't seem so terrible. I admit he was generous. Actually, he did pay us for them. But it was really for the both of you. You must believe me, Florence. I was so sorry for the man. I suppose it was foolish. Yet I had only the best of intentions, I swear to you. I love you both so much. And that woman at the museum? Ah, oh, that was all arranged. She was just someone who was paid to do a job. Good evening, Mrs. DeVries. Good evening. It's a pleasure to have you. What would you like to play tonight? Roulette? Baccarat? Chemin de Fer? I haven't decided yet. That couple at the roulette table. Yes, what about them? They're losing, aren't they? Looks very much like it, I'm afraid. 
But I shouldn't be discussing my clients. How much? Madam, please, I cannot divulge your professional secret. It wouldn't be ethical. I hope you do understand what I mean. Oh, but it wasn't just idle curiosity. They may be short of cash. Madam, I cannot allow you. Oh, come now. I can help them and you at the same time. Can they cover their losses? I really don't know, but I doubt it. I'd like to speak to them. Uh, would you be so kind as to inform them that I'll be expecting them at the bar in a few minutes? As you wish, madam. Good evening. The manager says you wanted to speak to us. So, here we are. I can cover your debt with the casino, if you're interested. Yes, we're very interested. Wait a minute. Hey, look, I'm not going to kill anyone for you if that's what you have in mind, ma'am. No, nothing like that. Where'd you get such an idea? Hmm? I think it's a fair surmise. For that kind of money, one would expect to have to do almost anything. Why couldn't you trust me? I'm your wife. You can share your problems with me. They're mine, too. I didn't know. I love you so much. I didn't know how to tell you I wasn't a man anymore. Not a man. You're every bit the man I married. You're so courageous, so handsome and masculine. We'll get over. I think we're over it already. Oh, I love you, Jack. Dear. Yeah.